Any country music fans out there? If so, I got a channel you gotta check out. Watch this. If I wasn't a country singer, you know, I would probably uh, go back to my Chippendale days. Uh, if I wasn't a country artist, I was actually testing sewage before I got my riding deal. All right, so those are two of country music's biggest stars on a new channel called Country Now, your one-stop shop for all things country. So if you like country music, definitely go ahead, click on the annotation on the screen, and go and check out that channel and make sure to subscribe. Now, as far as music goes, there are certain connotations that come with different types of music for me. It really puts me in a certain mood, or if I'm thinking about something, music can really play a big role in that. And when I think of country music, what I think of is barbecue. Now, living up in the Northeast in Rhode Island, we don't really have a lot of great barbecue around here. We're more known for our seafood dishes. However, being from down south originally, I really get that itch for some really good back home barbecue sometimes and there's just nothing available for me. So what do I do? I actually make my own and what I want to show you guys today is my variation on a pulled pork sandwich that I think you'll find really good. So let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. All right, so this recipe is really easy, everybody. All I'm doing here is opening up my crock pot. You'll see I have my pork butt. This is also called pork shoulder. You can get this at the store. It has really decent macros, high protein and low fat. You're gonna go ahead and throw this in the crock pot. Obviously, you're gonna wanna make sure you take off all the paper that's associated with it. From here, we're just gonna get our apple cider vinegar. Now, in this case, I am using two cups, but you're gonna wanna use as much as necessary needed in order to cover the piece of pork. Once that's done, the next step, we're just gonna use a tablespoon of sugar. Again, you can adjust this depending on what you wanna do. This is just gonna help give it some extra flavor as well. From there, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna go ahead and put this on high for six hours and let it cook. You might find it helpful to go back about halfway through and flip the pork if necessary so it cooks fully on each side. But again, this is really an important factor in making sure you have enough vinegar to cover. From there, after six hours, you can come and pull it out. You might find that your pork needs more time to cook. However, when you take it out, it should pull fairly easily. I like to use two forks. You can actually pull it within the crock pot as well if you wish. So once your pork is all pulled, I take it out and I put a little more of the vinegar on there for flavor. I really like this. You might want to adjust again, depending on personal tastes. I'm then choosing to use some liquid smoke here to give it that smoky flavor. You wanna use a very small amount at first and add more if you feel it necessary. You can also just leave this out altogether if you wish. The last part is we're gonna add in our barbecue sauce. I'm putting in here a couple of tablespoons, just kind of eyeballing it again to give it flavor. You really use your own personal preference on this. Once we go ahead and do that, we're gonna mix it all up. If you really wanted to, you could put it back in the crock pot to cook some longer to get even more flavor, but I chose to just put it on a sandwich. Here I'm showing you the macros for six ounces of pork and a Kaiser roll as well. So there you go, there's my pulled pork recipe. I really hope you guys like this. As always, if you do and you decide to make it, let me know how it turned out. Do a video response, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you guys do. I'd really appreciate seeing that as I'm always curious to know if you guys actually like some of these things as much as I do. On a side note to that, if you like this recipe, please go check out Michael Corey as he also did kind of a down home, down south recipe on his channel. I'll go ahead and throw an annotation on the screen right now. Let him know that I sent you. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching and stay big.